Welcome to Coma F Berlin, where I'm with bands known as Herman. Uh, guys, first things first. Uh, what would you tell about Herman to a person who's uh, never heard from you guys? Don't try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, what can I say? It's um, I would say um, try out. Listen to it and uh, make your own picture of it. It's uh, mixed and it's not really one. Um, what do I say? Um, one genre. Yeah, it's black. It's death. It's doom metal and stuff. And it's just uh, rough. So let me say. Um, I would say it's rough and uh, try out. It's yeah. Uh, does uh, black metal mean something special to you guys? Uh? No, of course. I mean, well, everybody in the band has like different influences in that way but yeah I come from punk rock and black metal and him he's the main songwriter musically and he he's been into black metal since the mid 90s so yeah back then you didn't get into black metal if it doesn't mean something to you uh, okay and can you can I ask what is the meaning of black metal to you because uh, you've been there from the 90s and uh... yes uh, it's I started listening to black metal um, in 1993. Before it was in uh, the end of the 80s, it was trash metal, you know, and stuff. I was very young, and uh, yeah, 1930, yeah, 1933. There was um, there comes it, it comes over me. Yeah? So my brother gave me a tape, and uh, he gave me a tape, and it was Dark Throne. Um, Yes, and then it, I was uh, addicted after that. Also, all the other stuff from Norway, especially Norway stuff. And uh, I come came from a really small village, and I always combine black metal with the nature. So for me, so I never had a scene where I was in when I was young. It was also it was just three people in the village who listened to metal, you know, and uh, there was no scene. And it, I think it was a good thing because. The black metal scene to this, uh, the, especially the German black metal scene, uh, I don't want to have to do anything with that, you know, it's, uh, I don't like the scene thing, so it's, um, it was cool to, um, to um, accept the experience like that with the nature and being alone and stuff and, uh, you know, this melancholic stuff, yeah. Hate, maybe, yeah, the hate uh, of the mankind, for the mankind, maybe, but, uh, on top, there is a nature in black metal for my, for my uh, understanding of that. Okay, and you said, as you said, um, you all have a histor long history in metal. So, what kind of uh, uh, metal history do you guys have? Well, we all come from different cities, so it's not exactly the same. But uh, for me, it was like first hard rock as a kid before I knew what. You know that there's long-haired people rebelling or whatever it was just music to me always at first and then like 12 13 i started with punk rock and bands like guns and roses and you started to realize okay these people take drugs and they're against everything <laughs> so yeah that changed everything so after punk rock i got into black metal because for me it's like an extension of that vibe not necessarily political but yeah, <clears throat> for me it's rebellion, mostly. Okay, uh, you are playing at uh, here at the uh, Coma F tonight. Uh, how important are live performances for you? You're just coming out of uh, Swamp Fest, also. Well, yeah, we have. Uh, we obviously want to play live a lot. For Hermann, we have a sort of live concept. We don't speak during performances. We have no, you know, no stage banter or anything. You will see later. It's mostly a full performance with noise and no breaks and yeah, lots of fog, as you will see <laughs> or not see. Yeah, but yeah, playing live in a business sense, of course, is super important nowadays, where you can barely like make. It your expenses back with anything, so playing live is, if you want to get anywhere with your music, that's the most important thing. Uh, you re released album uh, Desert Brood Mausoleum just uh, last month. Uh, what are your own feelings of the album fresh after the release? 
Um, so I'm the main riff maker from this, and uh, just to say it, it is for me it's a very um, I'm very proud of it because um, it's very really the the feeling what I have had to this time when I write when I wrote the, the riffs and uh, to combine that with the guys is, was uh, fucking uh, cool so and, and uh, I think it is just really darkness it's a uh, rough dark and uh, it's, uh, what can I say it's uh, really personally also so yeah so just uh, especially the last song maybe is a very uh, personal song from my side just to how to go to the world yeah around the world so this uh, the riff is a bit like uh, um, uh, like a crawling uh, monster or something what is uh, what lonely goes to the world yeah so um, yeah but, uh, it shows all the darkness side of the side, the dark side of mine, very good, and uh, I think from the other guys also. And, uh, yeah, <clears throat> just to, this is our second album now. So for me, I wasn't in the band when when they recorded the first one. So for me, it's special in that way, obviously, because it's much better. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's like, yeah, I think we kind of refined the concept of the first album, which was good already, and it's the same kind of style already. Like, yeah, it's just, we just perfected kind of what we were trying before and now it all comes together and we, yeah, we are very satisfied with that. Okay, and uh, you are based in Berlin, right? Yes, we all met here, I think. <laughs> so, uh, Berlin is not exactly known for its uh, metal music. Uh, how do you see the scene in Berlin? Well... <clears throat> I think that's wrong. Most people, well, it's like a bit under the radar because it's more DIY stuff and yeah, it's like oversaturated too. So I wouldn't say the metal scene here is smaller than anywhere in Germany. It's just that there's so much other stuff that overshadows it maybe. Uh, but yeah, the scene we don't really separate between metal. I mean, this is like a squad, you know? So we all hanging out with punks and it's it's all the same scene to me and Berlin is huge in that way and I think the best in Europe, maybe the world, there's like almost every day like seven concerts you can go to. So I think it's jealousy. People say Berlin sucks. That's the only city I could live in for as a musician, yeah. Yes, um, I think Berlin has a uh, huge platform for bands. It's, uh, I don't know how many rehearsal rooms there are outside in Berlin, and uh, the scene, uh, the music, all in all, is very big, so very big music scene, and uh, especially for the metal scene, I don't know. I think it's really big. Also, you meant it's not like that, but uh, I think uh, Berlin's got a cool scene so so far. So you, it's, it's a bit uh, strange sometimes. You have the grinders, you have the black metalers, you have the death metalers, you have the punks. Sometimes it's uh, um, when they come together, like a Spawn Festival last weekend. Uh, it's fine to see that it comes together, you know, in the end. So not this only black metal, only death metal. So it's a cool combination of all. And, uh, so Berlin, therefore, is for me uh, very relaxed with that. Very cool. So, so. Okay, thank you so much, guys, and uh, break a leg tonight. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you.